and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the cheapest method to finish the Master Set while getting the 394 overalls for super cheap. Now, guys, in other, in other updates and other promos, this was a little bit easier because we had gotten a house rules that coincided directly with it in regards to the reward we got, such as another player for the Master Set. Now, we did not get this this time around, but we did get a lot of kindling. Now, you can do that as you will. You can play the house rules for kindling, get as much kindling as you want. But at the end of the day, it's not going to entirely help with the master set. Now, you could take the kindling, you could go over to the Zero Chill store, or anywhere in here if you really wanted to. And you could exchange some of the kindling you earned for maybe a chance at lowering the price. But that is about it. It, it was a lot cooler when they gave us one free player from the master set, Nat, because they don't make this set a lot easier. But then again, the set also tended to be a little more expensive than it is now when they did stuff like that anyways. So not like it really helped. Well, it did help, but it's kind of even right about now. Now guys, before we get into the video, remember to see 25 days of Pood Miss. All you gotta do to enter that giveaway as per usual is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below the, your console and the secret word. And also, as you guys already know, I was three day behind on the winners. Yesterday, in yesterday's 10.30 video about Cordell Stewart, I did announce all three winners. So in case you think you might have won, maybe you wanna go check out that video. It was the LTD video yesterday at 10.30 a.m. I announced all three of them, and today I will be announcing the winner for today on today's 10.30 video too. We're going over the new content, which I believe is Walter Payton, so make sure you check that out. Now guys, get into this video. So what is this gonna be about? Pretty much how we can get our 94s for super cheap. Now here's the thing, this is my favorite set in Madden. These types of sets have been my favorite sets in Madden for at least three years now. Sets that have a master with three cards, you get back Nat. I love those sets, because you know what I do? I get all the cards back Nat, I do my little math magic, and then before you know it, I end up with a lot of good players for my team without minimal cost. Now here's the thing, some people are like, I don't want Nat cards, but think about it, right? This set right here, these sets are no money spent, best friends best friends by by far like ghost of madden present jj watt this is a no money spent madden's best friends that, that came out a little botch you guys get the point here's the reason why so last year last year's i was always no money spent this year meets i'm still no money spent but i play madden so much now my coin stack is typically up but in years past this was a thing right so i'd have 600k or 800k i'm a no money spent guy 800k took a lot to grind now i really want the new cards right i want i want pat mahomes one of you guys but if I buy two of those guys, I'm broke. That's all my coins. I'm gonna have no stack. So it's not worth it. Like one, or like I want one guy, like Mahomes, let's say, for 300k to 250k. I'm like, oh, it's kind of that kind of sucks. Only one guy for 250k. But then these sets came along, and they pretty much allowed us to get all three of them for like 220k. And I'm like, wait a second. So you mean to tell me, I wanted Mahomes, right, for 250k. And if I do this set, I get Mahomes, Gurley, and Van Der Esch for 230k, 220k. It's like, wow, that's a great deal. You know what I'm saying? Now, no money spent, guys. Always looking. Or in general, any Madden player, but specifically no money spent. You're always looking for your best bang for your buck. So that's why I love doing the Master Sets. I've been preaching these all year. Every Master Set is always a great idea. This one, the only reason this one's not worth it is because a lot of people have uh, Ricky Premier Bush and Lynch ready, so it'd be kind of dumb for a lot of people. But Master Sets are always the uh, always the best thing. The Halloween Master Sets, same thing. There's always ways to make coins in them, although they try to limit it. Trust me. Guys, Patrick Mahomes alone is worth it. Besides Lamar Jackson, he's tied for the best quarterback in the, in the game with Dashing Deadeye. You definitely want a Mahomes card. So I, I recommend you get this done. Gurley's a great running back one or two. And he's Todd Gurley. Power boy came up all the way. And Landon Van Der Esch is a solid zone linebacker, which I, the way my defense is, I do need one guy who's like a decent zone linebacker that's tall and fast. And then the other side, Lawrence rushing. So that kind of helps me. So the way this set would work. So... You have two methods you can go here. Now, I personally like the second. I personally like the method where you keep the three, the three nat cards more so than the method where you get rid of the boss because the way where you keep the boss because in this method specifically the boss isn't going to be as cheap. So you kind of do want to sell them. So one thing you can do here, right? You can buy all three of them. Now, you have to get them for a certain price in order to make this as much as profitable as you can. So I recommend, guys, content comes out today at 10:30. Once content comes out, and people are buying packs. Go snipe whenever content comes out. Snipe these cards. My recommended value for these cards are about 200 to 220k. That's where I've been sniping them at when I do this. Well, not when I do this specific set. When I've ever done master sets, I always want to snipe it at a certain profit margin to where I can make it valuable. So, Leighton Van Der Esch goes for about 240. If you snipe and you sit there long, you could probably get him for about 220. Maybe even less. You gotta wait for the zero trip packs. It is 9 a.m. in the morning. The market's up a little bit. Wait till things come down again. It's gonna come down. Patrick Mahomes, same thing. He's about 240. And Todd Gurley's about 240, 250. If you sit there long enough, you can get all three of these cards for about 200, 220k. I'm gonna go with 215k because that's the price that you can use. I've seen them plenty of times. So, 215k. On my calculator, times it by three. 645,000 coins is what it's gonna cost you to do the set. Now you get JJ Watt 
and you get JJ Watt's power up, and you get Mahomes, Van Der Esch, and Gurley back. So here's here's the first way to go about this. You come over to the auction block, right? Now you have all this stuff, and you're at 645k. Now remember, if you wanted those three guys, it would have cost you that price anyways. So keep that in mind. And now you also have JJ Watt. You guys following? You have JJ Watt, and you have three Nat cards that cost you that price. So you're winning right now, right? Three Nat cards and, and, and a Master card for the same price as those guys. So if you're, if you're gonna buy those guys anyways, might as well do the set. And here's the beauty of this set. So now you say, I wanna get those 394 cards for super cheap. I don't care if they're not, I have no money spent, I want the best bank for my buck. First off, Watts Power Cards are for like almost nothing, so don't worry about selling that. So you come over to his full card, right? His Christmas card, he's 360. You sell this guy overnight for about 38. You can sell him right around here, 380, 390, overnight. So let's say you sell him for 390. After reduction, you end up around 360 anyways. So you subtract 360 from the total. So your total bill is 285,000. Now that is assuming you get them for 220. You don't you don't wait enough. You don't you don't properly sell them now. So the, the worst case scenario is you get back. You end up with 285,000 coins lost. Now look at this. You might have lost 285,000 coins. But look what you ended up with. You ended up with three 94 overall cards. And, and right now, a 94 overall card typically goes for about 300k. The word for today's video is Dion. Comment down below, Dion. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your console. Which do all those things you're interested in. Good luck. So, you're already winning right here. All of these cards. So, right here, if you just wanted Pat Mahomes, you'd almost be paying 285. And now, so let's say, like, this is just great for anyone who wants any of these cards. If you plan to get Power of Leighton Vanderish from Mahomes or Gurley or any of these cards, do the set. I can't stress that enough. You're wasting coins. Like, let's say you bought Mahomes, you powered him up, and did everything. It's going to cost you a little over, well, minus the power. It's going to cost you 250, 250k right now just to get him. For an extra 35k, you get Vanderish and Gurley. Your overall goes up. Your team gets a lot better. You get better chems. So many th reasons to do it. Now, here's the thing. Let's say you don't want Gurley, right? Gurley, you think Gurley's ass. You're not a fan of him. How much does he go for? He goes for like 7,000 Kinley. So, Nat, he'll go for about 3,500. So, if you really wanted to, you could take that. You could take that Kinley, go invest it in something, and hope you get a decent, maybe get a present. Hope you get about 50K back. And then you make this 230K. But in my opinion, I'd probably wait because I don't think 3,500 Kinley is really worth losing Todd Gurley for. He's a great first running back and even a great second running back. Now, that's the first thing 285. Now, that's 285 is on the worst end of the spectrum. We only got them for 220. Now, look at this. Now, let's say you got them for about. 200 and 205k if you i'm telling you if you wait for oh, let's go 200k if you wait for content to drop content good content drops a lot of kindling gets flooded onto the market no blitz happens yet you can easily stem for around 200k so 200k times three is 600k minus the 360 for jj watt now you're looking at 240,000 coins so either you're gonna get 285 or 240,000 coins so 240,000 coins though now you're getting three 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 94 overall cards for the price of one guys it's it's literally a no-brainer this is the most no-brainer set i've ever seen and not well not the only one i've seen plenty this year like the halloween set there's so many but this time around the 94 overalls they have cool card art they're great cards lady van der Esch is a great outside linebacker i haven't picked them up yet just because i'm still waiting for some like overpowered one and because with the, my team being the team it is it's very hard to do these sets right now because first off i don't have that many coins and second I have a lot of NFL 100s on my wish list for Christmas this year. So I have to save my coins for the time being, but trust me. And I have Lamar Jackson fully powered up. So I, I can't use Mahomes. And I have Barry. And I have Amon Green. So I can't use Gurley. So in specific instances, this doesn't help you. But for most teams, it will help you. So pretty much when you're all set and done for 240K to 285,000 coins, you will have the best quarterback in Madden. One of the best right outside linebackers in Madden. And one of the best halfbacks in Madden. Now, don't get me wrong. Gurley's not exactly the greatest. Powered up and camped up. He's still going to be a very great running back. I just don't think he's the greatest running back but i think it's a no-brainer guys i think it's a it's a can't miss set you really just can't go wrong in this now guys there are other ways to do this with other sets i will probably make a separate video on that because the video's gotten kind of long but you guys get the idea you can you can take this theory and apply it to the rest of all the madden sets because it kind of works all similar so again it, it's just it's just a great value now you could also keep jj watt right so let's say or the other way of doing it is pretty much you have now you have pat mahomes van Der Esch, and Gurley, and you get jj watt so let's see it would be like this so it would be 600 what was it again total it was like so let's go 630k divide that by four cards it pretty much cost you 157,000 coins for van der Esch, 157,000 coins for mahomes 
157,000 coins for Gurley and then 157,000 coins for Watt. So if you keep all of them for the 630 price or whatever, you end up getting all of them for a very cheap price alone. But if you want to be really efficient, you sell off the Watt and you just keep the, you keep the Nats. But you can keep all of them. Watt's great. Up to you. Up to how many coins you have. But again, the best thing to always do is the set. Because let's say you want to just buy Watt, right? Why not just get Mahomes, Gurley, and Vander Esch for another 250, 300k? It's so worth it. Or vice versa. If you want to get Mahomes, why not just sell off Watt and get them all for an extra like 30, 40k anyways? I'm telling you. I love these sets. Every year, every promo, I'm, I, I, the first thing I do is I go straight to that set. I go see what kind of set there are for me. There's so many good sets every time around. I really do enjoy these. There's so many ways to make coins off doing stuff just like this. And not make one. I, I consider making coins also saving coins, right? If you save a ton of coins, you made coins. See, if you get a quarterback, a running back, and a red side linebacker for 240k, you made coins. Because guess what? Now, later in the future, you won't have to buy another red side linebacker, halfback, or quarterback, which means you'll save those coins and you can spend somewhere else. So your team gets overall better. You just added your quarterback, your running back, and your red side linebacker. You added three core pieces for a cheap price. Now you could spend, oh, now I still have a million coins. I could go buy myself a nice wide receiver or something else or i can save it i can invest it back in there's so many things you could do when you have that that luxury guys that is better for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel remember to see 25 days of food miss all you gotta do to enter the daily giveaways is subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below your console and the secret warrant you all those things you're entered to win good luck guys enjoy the rest of your day pop out to the 10 30 content video to see who won the giveaways and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you in the next video peace